Welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Today I speak about desperate times, desperate measure. Now, uh, there's a lockdown on a lot of imports and restriction to export in my country. So how am I going to be dealing with my fish stock? And I have a lot of fish guys. So join me as I share with you my developed strategy as to how I am going forward. Unlike most of you who are on YouTube doing fish keeping, uh, you live in an area where uh, you live in a country where in which uh, the resources to take care of your fish for a long period of time is readily available. In Jamaica, fish plates, uh, brine shrimp, uh, koi sticks, and high protein fish food is not uh, available um, right now um, in the sense that. It's not readily available for a lot of persons. Well, I have my favorite place in which I go to get mine and they are running low, right? The thing is that because of the situation throughout the world, um, certain things are being restricted to come in and out and you know, so uh, how am I going to be managing my fish stock? I have goldfish, I have severum, I have tilapia, I have live bearers, Jack Dempsey, Asuka, uh, some embuna. I have chromite, angelfish, to name a few. What do I do so as to ensure that my fish stock is well taken care of? Um, their nutritional needs are there. Now, one thing I have um, in comparison to persons on the YouTube um, sharing their fish rooms and all that, I have the outdoors. Having the outdoors is a great advantage to persons who actually keep fish outdoors. Because for one, algae tend to be in a lot of, you know, in plenty, right? Now, you have some fish, they love algae. And algae, if you never know, they have some microscopic organism on them that practically moves. And some fish will nibble on that uh, for most of the day. For example, my goldfish and my embuna and my, my koi and some other fish in which I have, like my... Uh, these are some fries. I had to stop to show you, right? Like my um, my chromite and my other fish. I know that Jack Dempsey is not too fancy with the algae, right? But at the same at the same speed, uh, whatever they get, they have to take, right? But uh, the topic is not about these chromites and their fries right now. The topic is about how I take care of these fish. So these are just some of the examples of the fish that I have. Some like um, high protein, some like, you know, plant-based food. Now, one, uh, like how there's a lot of spoilage in the market, right? Uh, spoilage in the sense that you have a lot of um, cabbage, a lot of lettuce, a lot of pop chow in the market. You probably could get a few pounds of that. Um, that is rattling away, uh, place in a big bucket, a big pan, with some water, uh, you'll cover it with mesh because you don't want insects to go and lay the eggs in it, right? And you'll have a strainer. And let's say every three days, you could fill it up uh, with water, strain it off, and there are some little white things that are moving in it. They look microscopic-like, so the strainer have to be very, very, um, have to be, have to have the holes in it that will allow these creatures in it and what you would do you would pour in portions in each of your containers in which you have um small fish like live bearers um these are infusia now you can also uh, breed mosquito what you call it? mosquito uh, mosquito in a jamaica what them say right now mosquito larvae good nutritional value for your fish right so you would actually uh breed mosquito larvae You'd have to breed them in high volume so as to get, um, right, like for me, so as to get all my fish to be fed properly, right? Uh, other fish now, what I would do, I could, uh, there are some fish ponds that have more algae than some. So what I will do, I would actually take some algae from some fish pond and I would place into others so as to get, you know, them to get something to nibble at. Also, what I would also do is to get a pan of water and cover it so that no mosquito goes in it and to put it out into the sun so as to get what I call algae or green water. And I can use this to feed my smaller fish, 
right? My, like my beta flies that are coming on very good. Also, I could do something else. I could actually uh, dig up my yard and search for worms, uh, search the plants for bugs, grasshoppers, lizards, um, these crawling insects or critters, and I can actually feed them to my Oscars. And being that these uh, insects are high in protein, you don't need to feed your fish more than probably about twice per week, right? Uh, because too much protein in a fish diet can make it very sick. Um, I have some, what do you call, I usually call them, uh, I usually call them Daphne, but they are not Daphne. I understand that they are what you call amphiphoids, uh, um, amphiphoids, amphiphoids, amphipods, right? Uh, amphiphoids or something like that, right? I, I know that there are some in some of my ponds, so what I would do, I would just let down some of the water, get a net, get some of those, and put it into one of those ponds that have little or no food in it. Uh, my emboma fish should be okay because that pond is actually laced with algae, and emboma are vegetarian based uh, fish, so they like to nibble at the algae. Uh, these are some of the strategies I am intending to use. I also intend, I know that I cannot give them flour. I cannot give them, um, if I do give them flour, I would have to give them wheat because flour would actually make them constipated, right? What I could do also, I could also, and I said this in a video before, well, yeah, I said this already, I think, you, I could actually, for the larger fish like my, my Oscar and my Jack Dempsey, I could actually boil the some of the organs for my from from like let's say chicken I buy at the supermarket like um like gizzard and the heart and the kidney I could boil it without without oil or without salt and cut it up fine fine and feed in small portion to my fish. Now desperate time call for desperate measure. You would have to actually measure the amount of this type of food that you feed to your fish because you don't want them to get too sick right thank you very much for stopping by oh i have some river fish but it's it's like useless putting them into certain ponds because they are so fast that not even the oscar not the jack dempsey and can catch them very easily thank you very much for stopping by have an awesome day bye bye for now rally peace out